Something up to you. I had this guy on yesterday, um, this guy who wrote this book, uh, El Narco. His name is Yoan Grillo. And he's uh, he's an investigative journalist who lives in Mexico, and he studies the cartels. They sell organs. And what, but this is one of the things he was saying, was that they they get these people used to killing and they were getting these kids and having these kids kill at a young age and dismember people and they were doing it to get the fear out of their body so this one guy who uh, they had a nickname for him tyson he would he was a cop but he was also in charge of hiring these little kids and training these little kids to be assassins and he would teach them how to dismember people mm -hmm. and he was going into it and all the things they did and all the beheadings that they did and he was saying that they'd try to that in certain certain groups of people when they have this organization they try to get them used to horrific acts well it's called the cement of blood and that's a heinrich himmler term uh head of the ss is that the ss you know hitler had about seven eight years before he launched the war so he got like 12 year olds ready for war and they would get them like having fun and swimming and working out and boxing and then they would like when they're like 15 give a super hot hooker and then give them drugs it was lsd didn't get discovered in switzerland hitler was putting them all on it dmt everything and they would then have these religious experiences and say you're invincible you're superman this has all been declassified but it's in more esoteric writings and so they would get them all wound up and then to graduate as an SS officer after you had a dog like five years, you had to strangle your German Shepherd. Yeah, that was uh, my friend Ari. His dad was in the Israeli Special Forces, or one of those one branch. Would you remember what branch it was? One branch of the Israeli military, and they had to kill a kitten. They had to yeah, raise and that's, kitten and, 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 and like like look, J Jews are just like anybody else. There's good people, there's bad people. But yeah, Israel because they got so screwed over by the Nazis in a lot of sickening ways. It's kind of copied a lot of it. And by the way, the Palestinians are trying to kill them, blow them up. I'm not even. My point is, is that the Nazis got evil down so much that, like, we brought 34,000 in to run NASA, to run the universities, Operation uh, Paperclip. Everybody wanted Nazis. They were like, Wonder they von were like Braun. winning the lottery. Yeah, because I mean, they were all robots that would do whatever they were told. Well, Werner von Braun was head of absolutely NASA. yeah, he's Goddard head of NASA. Space Center. So yeah, and he was a Nazi. So, so, so what would happen was first they gave him sex, they gave him power, they they would really pressure him, you know, to go through things, and then. Uh, they would basically, you know, just condition them to do whatever they were told, and they called the cement of blood because then uh, it's just like satanic cults say, you know, kill your dog. I mean, I remember when I was growing up in Rockwell, Texas, I ran into like a satanic cult. I was like, God, this girl's a senior in high school; she's super hot. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in ninth grade, and like she's picking me up in her Mercedes, and I'm taking me some mansion. And the sex with her is incredible, and I'm walking out of the house. Because I looked like I was about 16 when I was, you know, 13. And, and the dad goes, you like screwing my daughter? Yeah, I screw her too. Whoa. And just as soon as you join us, you love Lucifer, you get all the what we tell you want, boy, because we want you. But, but, what? Really? But, oh, yeah. But that's, that, yeah, man, I've had an incredible life. Look at all this <laughs> I do now. I mean, look at, but the point is, is that, oh, hell, you're in L.A. You know about all this. But the point is. is I don't that, know about all that. The point is, is that then the Satanist, because I never really got into Satanists, and they said, well, I said, well, what do you want? Because I don't want to be, you know, they go, well, we want you to kill your dog. Whoa. And so the point is, is that now, all these years later, kill a loving thing that serves you, cares about you, is interface. Dogs are very psychic. They're psychic buffers. Dogs are able to, like, interface with you. And they want you to take something that's ready to die for you, and they yeah. want you to kill that. That's like killing a child. A dog is very similar to a child. Yeah. Very spiritual, very holy, you know, very good. A dog will take on its master's aura, and it can be evil, but... Joe, I'm just totally spilling my guts here. People need to know about all this. And this is what's going on. And this is what's happening. And so, so they want the cement of blood is they get people in a group and they get them to do horrible, evil things during peer pressure. And then they create this synthesis. And you have to know the darker elements of the criminal networks that are inside our government are actually running Mexico as a laboratory test. Because they Jesus know Native Christ. Americans are we're, we're Native Americans so are gung ho terms. and they're tough and they're ready to fight. And I'm, you know, I'm part Native American, only like six percent Comanche, and you know, uh, Texas. And just that little bit makes me wild. Yeah. And so they can get them because they're powerful, they're smart, they're neat, they're cool, but genetically they go into groupthink really, really fast. Mm. And so Native Americans, you can mind control really fast. Hmm. Why is that? Well, it's like Vietnam. I mean, you know the 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 the, the, the Bering Land Strait, and basically they test the genetics of of, of Mesoamericans, especially Chinese or you know, Hun, because there was always some whites and Vikings even ten thousand years ago going in the area. Uh, but uh, 
like that nobody like in fights like in Korea fighting the Chinese. That's who we're really fighting there, or Vietnam. <laughs> Do you think freaking? I mean, they're like they're, they're they're conscious and real people, but when they get into a fight, they all sync up and are robots and have no fear. I mean, mm-hmm. you're talking about psychotic killers you're fighting, and so Asians are by about the most fearless killers there are. You like the Mongols, like the any of them. Do you get? Them, I mean, once Asians go to war, it's yeah. like they do not. They're it's. In fact, they're not even crazed going wild in a battle. They're like robots coming to kill you. And so, so what do you think that's from? Do you think that's from their heritage of war? That they have a long, like, like if you think about Japan, Japan has a, a long history of being a noble warrior culture with the samurais and well, it's the, all but, the martial but you arts say, is it from, from the there. nobility? It's the genetics. Right, but I'm the just genetics saying, is what creates the, you know, it's like 500 of you loading planes and go kill yourselves. That's what I'm saying. I mean, think no, I about, agree with you. what I'm saying is think about a place like Japan where so much martial arts came from. Kendo, sword fighting. Uh, karate, a, a bunch of different branches of karate, judo, jujitsu, Japan. All that stuff came from Japan. I mean, that 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 is a group of people that were obsessed with combat. I mean, they they figured out the combat. ruling class was well, not just that, the soldiers and even the civilians. No, no, I agree, but the ruling class was right. the samurai, yeah, the shoguns. The ruling class was the shoguns, right? And when you think about what a small place Japan is. And how stunning it is that so much innovation, especially in terms of like well, my yeah, line of work, the, the, martial arts. And I don't get into bell curves because you've got black people that are as smart as any white person, and, and then you've got black people that are way better at sports or whatever. I mean, there are genetic differences. We're not, and then you've got the head of your former, you know, uh, it was Cold Springs Harbor, Watson comes out and says blacks aren't human, all that BS. That's just the racist crap that's in the government. But it's true that northern, some groups of northern Europeans and then the Japanese, on average, per capita, have the highest IQ. And so they're, they're Japanese, and then there are uh, some Northern Europeans that have the highest IQs. But then you can get into, like, say, Jews have very high IQs on average. European they, Jews have an extraordinary high but then they also have of, a like, social Nobel Prize skill. winners. And, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a bunch of – so there's not just one type of intelligence. Yeah. Uh, oh, for sure, yeah. Well, there's there's – I mean, there's tests that you can run in terms of mathematics, but there's no real tests you can run in terms of social real intelligence. Real test is psychic – Connectivity, and they've proven the DNA is a transceiver. And so my skill is, that's why I'm usually kind of like almost autistic, is I'm just being constantly, right. like everything that's going on. But then if I actually focus in, I can like figure out the exact enemy operation. That's why they're really pissed. 